Hi, I'll be presenting on golf today. Golf is played on a nine or 18 hole golf course, and it can be either private or public golf course. Um, if it's private, that means like you have to have a membership and people pay like a lot of money just to have a membership at these courses. Um, and public just means like anyone can go and play. Um, and there's a picture of a hole at the bottom and like what a golf course would look like. Um, the goal is to get your ball into the hole in the least amount of shots. And like each hole has like either three or four or five par. So to get a par, that would mean you have to get it in, in three, four or five shots. Um, there's tournaments throughout the year as a professional and if you're just going for fun, you can just go whenever it's warm out and if it's open. Um, and professional golfers get to choose like what tournaments they play in as long as they um, qualify for the tournament because they have tournaments almost every weekend for the year. Um, and some golfers would rather spend more of their time focusing on one tournament rather than the other because some of the tournaments are bigger and more important. Um, the governing bodies are United States Golf Association and RNA, which um, the USGA um, governs the US and Mexico and the RNA governs the rest of the world for golf, but they kind of both work together and like they have the same rules. Um, so both of them kind of control the golf world. Um, RNA was Royal Ancient Golf Club of St. Andrews, um, which was like originally the birthplace and like the birthplace golf course. Um, but then RNA separated from them in 2004 um, just to focus on like governing um, the rules of golf. Um, there's, like I said previously, there's many tournaments that um, happen in the golf world. Um, but I would say the four biggest tournaments are on the screen here. Um, PGA Championship, it usually takes place in August and it's usually on the east side of the US. Um, and it was at Harden Park or Harding Park in San Francisco and it was just the first time being held in San Francisco. Um, and like all the dates of the tournament this year were different because of COVID. So like they had different dates um, for the tournaments. Uh, the U.S. Open takes place in June every year and is played at a different location every time. Um, the Masters tournament just happened last weekend, but normally it happens in April, but because of COVID. Um, and it's played at Augusta National and um, many people would consider it like the top tournament um in golf for the year um and then the last major tournament is the open aka the british open and it takes place in july and it's in the uk um there's a lot of golfers in the world and there's a lot of heroes but i just um pick two and tiger woods is probably one of my favorites and probably the, one of the greatest um golfers of this time period um he has 79 tournament wins and he's won the masters five times and he just recently won in 2019 um and that's a picture on the left um of him winning it um he had this back injury that kept him that like thought he was going to keep him out of the game for good so he was out of the game of golf for a couple of years um which was a major setback and for him to come back and win the masters in 2019 is just crazy um and then jack nicholas many people would say he's the greatest golfer of all time um he has 73 tournament wins and he has won the masters six times and that's the record um and tigers behind him by one um and just this past weekend, he did the ceremonial opening tee shot at the Masters. So he's still a big deal to this day, even though he's been out of the game for a while. Um, and for villains of golf, uh, it was, I just uh, found some interesting stories on um, villains of the world. Um, so Kim Jong-il said that he shot 38 under par 34 
and that was his first time playing and he said he had five hole in ones and that's just absurd like that's just like not possible at all and no one like believes that story except for people in korea or north korea obviously um and then al capone which was a gangster um he was apparently terrible at golf but enjoyed playing and um one time his gun went off when he was going into his golf bag and he accidentally shot himself in the foot um gender and golf so the women's the women play in ladies professional golf association while men play in the professional golf association um women don't play with men because like typically men hit their drives further than women do so there's like a women's tees and then there's another set of tees and then there's like the pros tees and women so women's tees are the closest to the green and the pin so it would just be unfair for like men to play with women because they would get like a advantage and they'd it would just be a lot closer to the green um so that's why they play separately um if you are an amateur and looking to go professional um you can get into like a bunch of different tournaments because there's always tournaments like every weekend and like there's a lot of smaller ones that allow for more people to join um but if you could golf in college i would suggest it because a lot of um pros have done that like tiger woods played but he only played for like two years um but then if if not there's this thing called q school and it is a qualifying tournament with four stages and it determines who has the abilities to play in the pga um and it's basically just like a stepping stone into the pga tour and even if you like don't succeed in that you could still just continue playing in tournaments and get your name out there and that could still lead you um to getting into the pga um, for fans watching golf, um, you can watch it live on TV and like there's a picture on the left of like what it would look like when they shoot it traces the ball and it falls the ball, which uh, I think is pretty cool. Um, and when you watch it live and in person, um, fans can like stay at one hole um, and watch everyone play that hole in the tournament or they could follow a specific golfer and kind of go hole to hole um, following with them. Um, the issues right now with the sport and the future is that uh, because of COVID-19, there's just, um, it's been a little different. So like if you were to go golfing right now, duh, you're not allowed to like touch the pin because they don't want you like spreading germs so uh, the two pictures i show you at the bottom uh there's like a styrofoam on the right so every hole would have like a styrofoam like that um so the ball doesn't go all the way down so like uh less people are touching and then they just got rid of like some of the things that you can use to like clean your ball and your clubs um so that's if you were to go out and play but in the professionals the things that's changed is there's just not as many fans so it's not like generating revenue um so there's no cheering and it's just like a lot more quiet so when golfers are playing with each other it's more um serious because there's it's just them and who they're playing against without any fans or noise um the golf industry is growing. Golf was on a decline in participants in the U.S., but it's been reaching a lot of new people because of COVID because um, it's outside um, in the sun and it's a socially distanced sport. So you, you could do that during COVID. And a lot of people took that up because they were bored and there's not a lot of other things to do. And uh the market for golf clubs has gone up because they come out with new and new technology every year. And there's just a lot of different golf brands. Um, I would say there's a new area of growth for 
golf is that uh, it seems like it's growing in Asia and that could help spread it worldwide. Um, and then it will continue to grow across the world and bring more consumers mm-hmm. to sport. Um, professional golfer Sung J.M. tied for second at the Masters this past weekend. He's pictured at the bottom left. Um, and that's that's the best showing from an Asian at the Augusta National, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, and then uh, Top Golf is a picture on the right. And I just like it more and more golf things are being made and more and more top golfs are being made. So it's spreading that way. And it just it's more of a fun thing you can do with your friends. Um, even if you're not good at golf and just go out there, hit some balls, get some food. Um, so it's growing in that aspect. Um, golf is unique in a lot of different ways. Um, it's a leisure activity that you can kind of just go and relax and clear your head because when you're golfing, like you just think about hitting the ball and um, working on getting better. Um, You spend time outside with friends and you can meet a lot of new cool people and it can be great for conducting business. If you're in the business world, Um, just go out there with a colleague and, um, it's easy to just talk and uh, play the sport and no round will ever be the same you can always do better when you play golf that's why I think it's so cool because you can even if you play by yourself you could always do better um, and you just have that desire to improve and even if you don't enjoy the sport you can still go and get some food and drinks on the course while you play and um, you could sit in the cart and drive, but even if you're bad, it'll still be a good time to be outside. And these are the references I used.